In part A, we're asked to verify that for any value of c, that the given function is a solution to the differential equation y prime plus two y equals e raised to the power of negative x. And then for part B, we want to find the value of c for which the solution satisfies the initial condition y of negative four equals four. So for part A, notice how we need to begin by finding y prime. So we know y equals c e raised to the power of negative two x plus e raised to the power of negative x. So now let's go ahead and find y prime. y prime is equal to the derivative of c e to the negative two x plus e to the negative x, which would be c times e to the negative two x times the derivative of negative two x, which would be negative two, plus the derivative of e to the negative x, which would be e to the negative x times the derivative of negative x, which would be negative one. So simplifying y prime equals negative two c e to the negative two x minus e to the negative x. So now we'll substitute y and y prime into the differential equation. So the differential equation is y prime plus two y equals e to the negative x. Well, we know y prime is negative two c e to the negative two x minus e to the negative x. Then we have plus two times y, where y is c e to the negative two x plus e to the negative x equals e to the negative x. So for the next step, we'll put the parentheses here by distributing. So we have negative two c e to the negative two x minus e to the negative x, and then plus two c e to the negative two x plus two e to the negative x equals e to the negative x. Now we'll combine like terms, but notice how this term and this term are opposites. So these two terms simplify out, and we're left with negative e to the negative x plus two e to the negative x. If we want negative one e to the negative x plus two e to the negative x, which is e to the negative x. So on the left we have e to the negative x, and we have e to the negative x on the right as well. And because these are equal, this verifies that for any given value of c, this function is a solution to the differential equation. Now the next step, we want to find a particular solution, or at least the value of c, given the initial condition y of negative four equals four. So using the given function, if y of negative four must equal four, we can find the value of c by substituting negative four for x and four for y. So performing the substitution, we'd have four equals c times e raised to the power of negative two times negative four plus e raised to the power of negative, negative four. Simplifying, we have four equals, this is going to be c e raised to the power of eight plus e to the fourth. Solving for c, we would subtract e to the fourth on both sides. So we have four minus e to the fourth equals c e to the eighth. So the next step, we would divide both sides by e to the eighth. Simplifying, we have c equals the quantity four minus e to the fourth divided by e to the eighth. Let's also go to decimal approximation. So as a decimal, we have approximately negative 0 0.0170. So part B is asking us for the value of C, which we have now found. But this also tells us the particular solution would be Y equals C, which the exact value would be the quantity four minus E to the fourth divided by e to the eighth times e to the power of negative two x plus e to the negative x, 
given the initial condition. I hope you found this helpful.